Welcome back, folks, to a brand new video. So if it's your first time visiting Asia, now there are plenty of destinations that have recently been opening up due to COVID restrictions. So this video is only part one of a two-part series. So let's take a look at 12 beautiful places to visit in Asia. Number one, Kyoto. After two years of border closures amid the pandemic, Japan reopened to travelers in late 2022. So if you only have time for one Japanese destination, make it Kyoto. Centrally located on the archipelago, Kyoto has long been considered the cultural capital of Japan. Geisha in brightly coloured kimonos, emerging from wooden tea houses, forests of bamboo, temples and shrines in gold and silver, and of course, the Zen gardens. Gion is the place to spot Geisha. Higashiyama has many beautiful temples to explore, and Irashiyama, in the western hills, is one of the most traditional neighbourhoods, home to bamboo groves and temples. So don't forget to wander through the famous Fushimi Inara Shrine. Number 2. Nara Nara was Japan's first permanent capital, full of historic treasures including many of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites. It's one of Japan's top attractions, and it makes a rewarding day trip from Kyoto to visit all the temples and the wild deer in Nara Park. You should visit the Daibutsudan at Todaji, which is the main site, the largest wooden building in the world. The temple was constructed in 752 as the head temple of all provincial Buddhist temples of Japan. But it grew so powerful that the capital was moved away from Nara in 784, in order to lower the temple's influence on government affairs. And believe me, nothing prepares you for the immense sight. Seoul. Seoul is by far the largest city in South Korea and a major destination in East Asia. There's absolutely no end to the attractions in this city, but I suggest you start with some of the many palaces, five of them, located in Seoul. For a taste of Korean traditional culture and architecture, a visit to the Pukchung Hanok village should be your first choice. The neighborhoods of narrow streets feature hanoks or traditional Korean houses. So it's a unique place and a historic area. And the bonus is it's right in central Seoul and close to the second attraction which is the Changdok Gong Palace and its wonderful gardens. And close by you also have Gungbuk Gong Palace which is the biggest out of all palaces in Seoul. Originally built in 1395 its creation marked the official change to Seoul as Korea's capital. So make sure you get the chance to see those two. Number 
number four, Jeju Island. Now for anyone visiting Seoul or Busan, this is a great opportunity to add this to your list. It's a stunning island that's 85 kilometers off the coast and one of the most beautiful places in South Korea and one of the most famous places. You will see surreal white sand beaches surrounded by pine forests, volcanic craters and lava caves and a wild coastline dotted with waterfalls. It even holds the longest lava tube in the world. So you can see why it's been the country's favorite domestic holiday and a very popular honeymoon destination. There are regular flights to and from cities such as Tokyo, Osaka, Beijing and even Shanghai. So if you do visit Seoul, it just takes over an hour to get there. While from the coastal city of Busan, it's just less than an hour. So with a natural paradise like this, it's definitely too difficult to ignore. Number five, Beijing. One of the most popular cities in the world and also one of the oldest. China's capital is home to seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites, including the Imperial Summer Palace and its gardens, the oldest canal in the world and the Forbidden City, which is a palace complex that served as the home to China's emperors for 500 years. So you will see that there is so many attractions for any type of traveller. So at first stop, you can head to the huge Tiananmen Square, which is bordered by so many fine buildings such as the Forbidden City. But just under an hour away, you can visit some of the nicest parts of the Great Wall of China, twisting and weaving its way over the hills and mountains of the countryside. It really is a powerful example of engineering. Number six, Taiwan. Taiwan's bustling food loving capital has something for everyone. Whether you will travel to Taipei just to indulge in the city's complex history, where you can see the traditional temples, or you want to see the unrivaled nature, or just perhaps you just want to eat at the world-renowned night markets, this city has got you covered. It's efficient, it's easy to navigate, and very budget-friendly. And the standout attraction is the one-time tallest building in the world, which may not be the record holder, but it's still one of Taiwan's most impressive buildings and very well worth a visit. And on a fine day, if you're able to go on a hiking trail, you'll find a photography platform, which not only provides you with an amazing panoramic view of the city, but it also allows you to enjoy the views during the day as well as to see the neon lights at night. Number seven, Hong Kong. Over seven and a half million people from all over the world occupy this small island of Hong Kong, making it the third most densely populated place in the world. Now, Hong Kong also has the largest number of skyscrapers in the world at 355, an impressive 75 more than the city in second place, New York. 
so a good number of these are located around Victoria Harbour, which is a popular area to see some incredible views of the most stunning coastal skylines in Asia. It's also worth noting that Hong Kong is on a bit of a roll right now. New restaurants, new bars and hotels continue to crop up. You have plenty of events happening in March and throughout the year. You also have sporting events like rugby, so the whole world is actually watching. But here's another thing. Hong Kong are actually going to give away half a million plane tickets and spread them around throughout Southeast Asia as well as the rest of the world. And I'll put some information in the description below. Number 8. Hoi An With the famous cobblestone streets, narrow canals, Chinese-style shophouses and the French colonial buildings, this UNESCO World Heritage Site of Hoi An is one of the most beautiful towns in Vietnam. It's located on the central coast, a former trading port and famous for its historic old town. So even though many of the old shops have been converted into modern businesses, such as tailors, art galleries, souvenir shops and restaurants, the town still has retained its old-fashioned charm and its atmosphere. So if you do visit Hoi An, once you've wandered the town, you can hire a bicycle and explore the villages around to get a glimpse of rural Vietnamese life. And I think that is where the beauty lies. Another bonus is that you can straight away move on to Da Nang. Now this is an incredible destination, whether you go this year in 2023 or in the future. The UNESCO World Heritage Site of Ha Long Bay is world famous for its silky emerald waters and towering limestone casts that are cloaked in lush rainforests. Now an absolute must would be to take an overnight cruise through Ha Long Bay on a traditional boat, which will be the highlight of your Vietnamese holiday. You'll take in otherworldly scenery as you glide along the gentle waters, passing the local floating villages. You can relax or take a dip in the calm, clear waters or go kayaking through the breathtaking caves and casts. It really is the ultimate way to explore one of the most beautiful places in Vietnam. Number 10, Laos. One interesting place to visit this year would be to visit Luang Prabang, 33 of the villages that are surrounding it, which are all part of the UNESCO town of Luang Prabang World Heritage Site. So together, these sites are home to an incredible mix of cultural and architectural heritage that has shaped Laos through the centuries. The Temple of the Golden City is a good example of this, a 16th century structure showcasing a historically significant place where all the Laos kings were once crowned. So this town is best explored on foot or even by bike. You can get lost in the narrow alleyways where you'll find temples, houses and colonial buildings.
Lombok, Indonesia. Now, Indonesia is considered a very affordable vacation. While millions of people flock to Bali, where resort prices are actually more expensive, you can still enjoy a much cheaper and more peaceful trip in places like Lombok, which is located east of Bali. Now, this place is blessed with scenic beaches and a much needed escape for tourists away from the hustle and bustle of tourism. Then there's Raja Ampat, meaning Four Kings, an archipelago comprising of many islands, or where you can see landscapes like mushrooms. So these are two stunning locations. Of course, from Lombok to Raja Ampat is quite a distance, so please be prepared to visit a remote island such as this. But 2023 could be a perfect year to visit. Finally, number 12, Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya. One of the best day trips you can take from Bangkok, and it's easily one of my favorite places to visit in Thailand. Even if you hate the idea of history on holiday, this place will convert you. It's easily reached from Bangkok. Ayutthaya is one of Thailand's ancient cities and it's UNESCO listed. Stunning ruins that take you on a journey back in time to Siam's golden age. Surrounded by rows of Buddha statues swathed in saffron tones. So you'll want to make a date with Wat Mahatat, where the famous stone Buddha head peers out from the infinite rocks of a banyan tree growing around it. A very unique experience. And there'll be more countries in part two coming soon.